De'Aaron Fox is a 6'3", 187-pound point guard and is a definite top 10 pick and potential top 5 pick in this year's NBA draft. But do you ever wonder how he got there? De'Aaron Fox was born on December 20th, 1997 in New Orleans, Louisiana. He was born to Aaron Fox and Lorraine Harris Fox. He also has one brother named Quinton. His mother played college basketball at Arkansas Little Rock. She helped him choose his jersey number of zero. She told him he should fear no one on the court and he's had this motto ever since. Other than finding an early love for basketball, he found a love for video games, especially the NBA 2K series. Before high school, De'Aaron moved to Katy, Texas and attended Cypress Lakes High School. He played varsity all four years in high school and put up amazing numbers. Even when he was a 6'2 skinny freshman, he never averaged less than 20 points per game and in fact averaged 25 points per game in his career at Cypress Lakes. He also played AAU for Houston Hoops. Houston Hoops is one of the most amazing AAU organizations in the country with alumni like Justice Winslow, Kelly Oubre Jr., Kendrick Perkins, Steven Jackson, Rashard Lewis, Emeka Okafor, and many others. While in high school, Fox earned many accolades. This includes First Team All-USA Boys Basketball, Naismith All-America First Team, Naismith Player of the Year Finalist, McDonald's All-American. He also participated in many of the notable games, like McDonald's All-American Game, Jordan Brand Classic, the Nike Hoop Summit, and played with Team USA alongside many of the great prospects in his class. While doing this, he was ranked number seven according to ESPN, number six in the nation according to 247 Sports, and acquired many offers from many of the top schools in the country. Most importantly, while doing this, De'Aaron Fox was a true student athlete. He earned many academic all-district accolades, and that shows he only wants to be great at everything he does. I could not find his GPA in high school, but you can only imagine how good it was if he was earning many academic accolades as an athlete. De'Aaron committed to basketball powerhouse, the University of Kentucky, over many other schools like Kansas, Louisville, Florida, etc. He quickly drew similarities to another lightning quick Kentucky point guard of the past, John Wall. De'Aaron isn't at John Wall's level, obviously, but he has many similarities to him, like athleticism, speed, defensive abilities, and their drive to play basketball. They are even extremely similar in their weaknesses coming out of college, like shooting. Fox quickly became a star at Kentucky, setting the record for most assists ever in a debut, 12, and four shy of the single game record by none other than John Wall. He also recorded Kentucky's second ever triple-double, which consisted of 14 points, 11 rebounds, and 10 assists. But Fox had trouble staying healthy. He missed 15 of their 34 games. This hindered him in the scouts' eyes, but he hit his stride going into the NCAA tournament. He led Kentucky to an Elite Eight run, only to lose to the eventual national champion University of North Carolina. De'Aaron's best highlight of the season was his 39-point game against UCLA. 
It wasn't only because he scored 39 points. That is a great feat by its own. But it was because he did it against the storied program UCLA, who were led by Lonzo Ball. Lonzo Ball is widely thought to be the number two prospect in this year's draft class. He's ranked ahead of De'Aaron Fox, and he plays the same position as him. That's how you know it lit a fire under De'Aaron Fox. He knew many people thought Lonzo was head and shoulders better than him going to the game. Well, he showed them. He scored 39 points, had 4 assists, and 3 rebounds. And when compared to Lonzo's 10 points, 8 assists, and 3 rebounds, he destroyed him. This game opened many eyes and made people believe that De'Aaron Fox could be better than Lonzo Ball. It honestly makes me believe he's better than him and that he will have a very successful career in the NBA. In his only year in college, De'Aaron Fox averaged 16.7 points, 4.0 rebounds, 4.6 assists, and 1.5 steals per game which is a very solid season for a freshman in college. De'Aaron Fox will succeed in the NBA no matter where he's drafted. Many mock drafts have him going from the 3 to the 8 range, and any organization will be lucky to get him in that range. In high school, his coach would open the gym doors for him at 6 a.m. Fox would work out up to three times a day and these workouts included lifting, running, and many basketball drills. This shows an insane work ethic. We see this insane work ethic in many legends. It is so crucial to have this insane work ethic because there are many flaws in his game and he's very raw at this moment. But having that work ethic shows us that he wants to improve and he wants to be great in the NBA. In the end, Fox has everything going for him. He seems like a great guy, and he's an amazing basketball player. He has the work ethic to be great, and that's what I want to see him do. That's why I think he's being extremely underrated in this draft. He should be going in the top three, no question. But that's not how it is. And he's just going to prove everyone wrong in the NBA. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you did. And I'll see you guys next time.